It's a hockey night in Pittsburgh. Tonight from the Met Center in Bloomington, Minnesota, the Penguins take on the Minnesota North Stars in Game 6 of the Stanley Cup Finals. Well, we know one thing. This is the last home game the North Stars will have one way or the other. Don Koharski is a referee tonight. Kevin Collins and Gordy Brossaker are the two linesmen. Koharski's second game of the final series, and Tommy Barrasso gets the call for the Penguins. Barrasso felt that he could have finished the last game. But when he uh, said that he had the groin problem, I think Skip there telling Bob Johnson about it, and Bob just decided that it would be better if Brasso came out rather than risk further injury to it, where he would be unavailable for the rest of the series. And, of course, the Penguins at the time had a 4-1 to lead. John Casey, you wonder if the Penguins have broken him. They certainly have uh, been able to get a lot of pucks behind him. Four goals in every game except for one. Roddy Francis, they get the call for the Penguins with Joe Mullen and Kevin Stevens. And the North Stars go back to a line that they've used most of the series. Neil Broughton with Gaetan Duchesne and Stuart Gavin. North Stars control the draw to the Penguins' end. In order to the Penguins' zone. Wrist shot. Glove by Barrasso right from the beginning. And now, big battle in front of the net as Broughton went in on goal. They come right at Barrasso, and the Penguins take exception to that. And copy the Penguin defenseman. Quick short pass over to Larry Murphy. Now up to Yager. Yager guns his way to the North Stars in against Tenorti. Got around him. Step on him behind the net. Francis went for it. He runs in one of the North Stars. Duchesne and bounces in front. And the whistle sounds. And that should be a break for the Penguins. They will probably get a face off of Minnesota ice. Right point now. Tagging it over to Samuelson. Samuelson shoots it towards the net. Scores! The Penguins lead 1 0. Bob Airy might have deflected it in, but the Penguins take the lead. Oh, no. Eddie Spaghetti. Samuelson from a weak shot from the left side. Bob Airy in front. Might have touched it, and the Penguins take the lead 1 0. John Casey pretty far back in that goal crease, and that's a big lift for the Pens against him psychologically. Once again, the puck goes right behind him, right off the bat in the first shot of the game. So the Penguins cash in, and they lead 1-0 here at Minnesota. And the North Stars, who have been outscored in this playoff uh, series, 10, or pardon me, 11-4 now in first period action. That was their strong suit over the first three series that they had. They outscored everybody in the first period and in a big way. But the Penguins have taken that right away from them. Slap back to the Penguin zone to the right point. Shot by Chambers and glove by Barrasso. And he comes up with that and holds long enough for a faceoff. Jimmy Pack and Bobby Smith push and shove. Well, Barry Smith, the assistant coach of the Penguins, watching the video of the last game, game five, just had nothing but great things to say about Joey Mullen with a plus 15. And that's not by accident, folks. He has made tremendous defensive plays for the Pens. And it's amazing how his defensive plays have turned into offense. The other night, come diving to the ice to clear a puck up the boards. It came right to Ron Francis, who was cutting through the neutral zone, and he went in and scored what proved to be the game-winning goal. Dagonetti got it around the wood, but not out. Brian Glenn leave it in the corner. Murphy should be able to get the puck out. He has it, and nice play by Murphy to go to the near side. Ahead for Lemieux, takes the puck and stride against the man. Bellows cuts in on goal, makes a little move. Hey! Shoots and scores! He beat Casey like a rented mule, and the Penguins lead 2 to nothing. Oh, what a play by Lemieux. And what a heady play by Larry Murphy from way back in his own zone. Again, great defense generating big offense. It's amazing how it happens. Murphy way back in the corner, looked up, took his time, found the open space, and fired it off the boards. Lemieux anticipating Look beautifully as he always does. Just blew past Bellows. And he knew Casey was going to come out and gamble again. And all he'd have to do is deke Casey with that stick, but there was no way. He couldn't get to it. He undressed him. So Lemieux scores his 16th of the playoff from Murphy at 12-19. The Penguins have a 2-0 lead. Mario Lemieux just playing unbelievable hockey right now. Back to center, Wilkinson, and he'll shoot it long. That's off the blocking glove of goaltender Barrasso. From behind the Penguin net, and it'll be Paul Stanton. Penguins leading 2-0 here in Minnesota. The Penguins have just been dominant in first periods against the North Stars the last couple of games. And the Penguins pick it up, and they've got a three-man brush, and they hurry. Three on two. Taganetti stops looking. He might as well shoot it. Goes to Mullen, shoots it. Three bounce. He shoots and scores! And the Penguins lead 3 to nothing. Oh, great balls of fire. Joey Mullen right there in front. Pittsburgh again scores to take a 3-0 lead. And the Penguins are so focused right now. They are so intense with their offense. All their passes are clicking, and they're being very patient about how they're making their plays. Taglianetti really took his time. This is a guy really not noted for his offense. He stood and waited and waited, passed it over beautifully to Joey Mullen. His shot was stopped by Casey, got the rebound, and it went right back to the net, and he tucked it inside the left post to make it 3-0. Joey Mullen, seventh of the playoffs, and the Penguins... Just like that, lead again, three to nothing. They are alive here in this first period. 
I watched Gavin on that play, Paul, and he just stood and really watched Mullen. I think he expected the puck to come to a door star, and he just really didn't make any effort at all to go after him as he got the second crack at it and put it in. Here's Gagne. Flipping the puck into the Penguins in. And it goes behind the net. Prop gets a handle on it right behind the goal. They can't score from there. Now Bellow steps out. He has it. Bellow center point to Tenorti. In front. Here's Brighton. Studi. Stopped by Barrasso right in front of the net. Picked up by Neil Brighton. Penguins lead 3-0. Here's Gagne on the near wing. He'll give the puck to Tenorti. Shoot a whip into the net. But off the skate of Barrasso. And he holds on. As he went down on his backside. Fell right on his wallet. Well, Brian Hayward certainly worked hard today in the morning skate, and you just had that feeling with Bob Gainey really weighed his decision about what he wanted to do with his goaltenders. I really felt that we were going to see some Brian Hayward before this game was over. I may be wrong yet, but Casey has got three behind him already. They have dominated Minnesota in this series, and Gavin shoots it as time will run out. The horn sounds. The Penguins now have outscored the North Stars 13 to 4 in first period of actions, and they've lost two games. Remember that. That's how strong they've been in the first period, a trademark that really carried Minnesota uh, to the Stanley Cup Finals. At the end of one, the score, the Penguins three, and the North Stars nothing here on the Penguins Hockey Network. And the Penguins lead three nothing here as we go to the second period. Ryan Hayward for the second consecutive game, relieving John Casey in goal for the North Stars. That'll be their official name next year, the Minnesota Stars. There'll be no more North Stars at center ice. Back to Minnesota territory. Theo Wilkinson defensively. Paired with Jimmy Johnson. Johnson's pass to Bobby Smith. Smith with Bellows and Dolan. Smith on the left wing. Penguin zone. Dolan going to the net. Shot right to the goal. And that's stopped by Barrasso. Lemieux was hooked. And taken out of the play. But the Penguins spinning up ice. And this will be an icing call against the Penguins. All you got to know about Bob Gainey is he was a defensive forward. And he won the Conn Smythe Trophy as the most valuable player in the playoffs. So how effective must he have been in that great defensive system of the Montreal Canadiens? And, of course, they had great goal scorers, too, at this time. Gagne on the right side. Looking for Mike Madano. Madano back to Gagne. Cuts to the net. His shot. And Barrasso stopped him right in front. Back come the Penguins the other way. Lemieux and Recky. Look out. And here's Lemieux. He shoots it towards the net. And Hayward makes that save. Unconscious save by Hayward. Minnesota's Brian Prop. Turning over to center, Madano. Madano, a slap shot right to Barrasso. Barrasso going to stop that with his glove and hold on. Well, I remember when Yarmir Yager came to Pittsburgh this summer. I went shopping with him in the shopping mall, and he was running around looking at blue jeans, buying up all the blue jean jackets he could find. Take him back to Czechoslovakia. Yep. Yarmir Yager coming down the near boards in his own end. Couldn't get out. Bob Airy will slam it ahead. Lemuse after the puck against Wilkinson. Yager goes in. Churlow's after him, but he worked away from the check. Now Yager puts it in front. Score! The Penguins score again! Bob Airy in front makes it 4 to nothing. Out by Sam a drink and get his dog 1-2. Yager, Yager set up Bob Airy and the Penguins lead 4 to nothing. Airy was right in the crease practically. Yager had the puck. He just laid it right on the doorstep. So Bob Airy scores for the first time since the 8th grade picnic. Figure this game is over really by a long shot because the North Stars are faced with elimination right now. And there is no tomorrow for them if they should lose this game. Bob Airy again on the attack coming to center and he will shoot it in. And Bobby Smith now. There's Bobby Smith moving up through center. Smith looking the left wing. Lost the puck for Ronnie Francis. Francis moves in towards the goaltender. Shoots. He scores! Oh, she wants to sell my monkey. And the Penguins lead five. And Joey Mullen again with a defensive play to set him up. And now Brian Hayward has been nicked for two goals. And two very quickly. Mullen with a big play in the neutral zone, and he just knows that the way these guys are able to regroup in the neutral zone and go from defense to offense is absolutely incredible. Ronnie Francis is seventh of the playoffs. And he may have never scored a bigger goal in his entire career. That really opens it up for the pins. Back and forth they go at center. And Brian Prop turns it over to Mark Tenorti. Tenorti in deep in the Penguins in. you got to expect the North Stars to send some people in now, especially late in the second period and the third period, because they need goals to get back into it, or they're all done for the year, and the Penguins win the Stanley Cup. Chambers trying to avoid a check by Kevin Stevens. Puts the brakes on, stopping Bellows. Out around Ronnie Francis. He shoots it on one leg, and that's 10 feet wider than that. Lost to Dewolf Samuelson. A minute 20 to go in the period. Lee passed to Mellon behind the defense on a breakaway move. He shoots and scores. Joey Mullen gives the Penguins a 6 0 lead. Oh, look out, Loretta. The Penguins' explosive offensive machine is rolling along here in game. 
from six. And again, the fans forcing the North Stars to gamble. They got caught with their hand in the cookie jar way up ice. And Joey Mullen, the sharpshooter it is, went up on the glove hand side. A goaltender, Brian Hayward, and the Penguins now lead 6 nothing. All I really felt in this series uh, that the Penguins had not played a strong game overall for 60 minutes. But the Penguins right now have put together 40 minutes of it, and they lead 6 nothing against the North Stars. And now jam back to center. Going for it will be Chris Dahlquist. Gavin takes it with the North Stars. Well, they can grind it out in the third period. They lead by six at the moment, and it appears they'll carry that lead of the third period. Shirley's going to fire as the horn sounds. The second period is history now in game six of the Stanley Cup Final Series. Minnesota's got to pull out everything. They've got to go to the plumbing store and get a lot of sinks. They'll have to pull up here outside somewhere and get to a hardware store in a hurry. The second period is history now in game six of the Stanley Cup Final Series. And at the end of two, the Pittsburgh Penguins trying to win their first ever Stanley Cup. Are you pinching yourself yet? Penguins, three goals in the first and three goals in the second. Mullen with a three-point night tonight with a pair of goals. That made it 5 nothing. and Mullen back on a breakaway himself. He is eighth of the playoffs. And the Penguins trying to win the Stanley Cup for the first time ever. Picked up now by Taglianetti. And he'll pass from Ariel Lemieux. Lemieux with the Penguins. Looks right wing to Loney. He's into the North Stars end. Dropping back to Lemieux. Lemieux in front for Loney. And it was stopped by Brian Hayward. The Penguins almost got a seventh there. Minnesota back to take it a half a minute into period number three. Here are the North Stars cruising up again through center ice. Gaetan Duchesne. He'll come down. Go behind the net. Turn. Look. Fellows wrist one. Carrasso makes that say. Samuelson going back. Lemieux through traffic. Just toying with that puck. Going to the North Stars in against Dolan. Put it right in front of Pack. He walks in. He shoots and scores. Jimmy Pack gets a goal in the Stanley Cup Finals. And the Penguins lead 7 0. Oh, you ain't nothing but a hound dog. Jimmy Pack with his first goal of the Stanley Cup playoffs. And the Penguins have built it to a 7 0 lead. Absolutely incredible. What a pass by Lemieux. Look at him just glide in. How about the rookie? How about the coolness he showed there? You don't think he's a happy guy, but the Penguins don't want to show the exuberance that they have right now. They're trying to maintain it, and Casey's going back on the net. John Casey will replace Brian Hayward. That's Natalie Lemieux, Mario's uh, girlfriend. Her last name is not Lemieux. It's Asseline, and she's been with him for so long, and she's waving to everybody up in the stands. Jim Johnson. He's paired defensively with Neil Wilkinson. Johnson coming up. Left to the left wing for Wilkinson. He breaks into the Penguins in. The North Stars sending four men in. They might send a fifth in to try and get a goal here. The North Stars need a touchdown to tie right now. Duchesne Wheeland deal. Looking. Goes to the left side to Jimmy Johnson. The Wilkinson a shot. The stop by Barrasso again. Murphy is shouldered by one of the North Stars and knocked down. That was Stuart Gavin. The Penguins playing some smart hockey. Short shifts right now with a seven goal lead. Face off right point, Jimmy Johnson. And his slap shot stopped by Barrasso's glove. And Troy Loney through to center ice. Lemieux after it. And a shot in that stop from close range. And the Minnesota goaltender smothers up. Yeah, Lemieux did not even play the first 50 games of this year. And his ability to come back after the uh, tough surgery and then the infection during training camp where he had to come home off the trip. Couldn't even walk, Mike. He was on his back in bed. They had a nurse at his house. He was wondering if he'd ever play the game again, and his teammates weren't even concerned about him as a player. They were concerned about his health as their friend. And Murphy will be back to move the puck. Finding Gordy Roberts. Lemieux in front. Got Murphy there. Murphy with a backhander. He shoots and scores! Larry Murphy on a backhand shot, and they lead 8 to nothing. Oh, call Arnold Slick from Turtle Creek. Mario Lemieux has just Raymond. won the Conn Smythe Trophy with that assist. I guarantee you he's going to be the MVP. He has four points tonight. And Lemieux set it up, and Murphy just backhanded it his fifth of the playoffs. Well, you're looking at the Penguin bench, and they're going to have their names inscribed on the Stanley Cup, it appears, and that'll be there forever. These guys are just a tremendous bunch, and it takes everybody to, to make a team a team. These Minnesota fans are going to stay around to see what... Transpires on the ice. A lot of them have left, but a lot of them stayed, too. And you're a part of history here, and they'll give the Stars a standing ovation. Back again to the Penguins here. And Roberts with 10 seconds to go. Roberts to the left wing to Kevin Stevens. Stevens with five, four, three. Time runs out. The Stanley Cup has come to the city of Pittsburgh. The 1991 Stanley Cup champions, the Pittsburgh Penguins.
And at this moment, ladies and gentlemen, Elvis has just left the building. Look at Mario Lemieux. Look at him. Look how happy he is. That cup's coming to the Berg for at least a couple of weeks. I hope you'll get a chance to see it. He'll be taking it around town. You can bet on that. And there it is. Going to the Penguin captain. Go for it, Mario. Go for it. Hold it high, buddy. Larry Murphy. What a playoff year he had. Unbelievable playoff year. There's a guy who just gave every ounce of all he has for the Penguins this year. Bob Airy, Joey Mullen, big comeback. And Phil Bork having his moment. And there's the little kid of them all, Brian Trottier. He's got one for the thumb. Look at him. <laughs> Coffee's going to go for one more skate. There's a rookie, Yarmer Yager. I don't even think Yager quite realizes what he had in his hands there. But he will someday, coming in your first year. The Penguins invite their fans from the Tri-State area to participate in the Stanley Cup rally honoring the Penguins as the Stanley Cup champions. It'll be held on Tuesday, May 28th from 12 until 1. We'll have a noontime rally after the Memorial Day celebration on Monday. So get on down to the point and be a part of it all. And pray for no rain. We're going to have a great time. Well, the Penguins have uh, taken that Stanley Cup off into the locker room. And you know it'll be a wild and uh, very jubilant scene for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Final score here tonight. The Penguins win the Stanley Cup. They win the series four games to two over the North Stars. Stanley Cup champion Pittsburgh Penguins eight. And the North Stars nothing right here on the Penguins Hockey Network.